My name is Robert Lee. It's my wife, Carolyn. We've been married for 53 years. I've always been pretty healthy. I make regular trips to my doctor yearly. Uh, but my wife signed us up for a uh, heart and lung scan. Uh, even though I had no symptoms or anything, uh, I went along with her. And when we, we went there, they, they called me about a week later and said they had found a tumor. The tumor was up around the liver too, and so he didn't know what to expect there. So when he got in there, he removed uh, the kidney, the tumor, uh, the adrenal gland, the gallbladder. Part of your liver. And 12% yeah. of my liver. He said it was about the size of a loaf of bread. The radiation for us, uh, for how many weeks? Six, eight, ten weeks. Yeah. Uh, it was not too bad. It did make me a little bit nauseated. Dr. Park's prognosis was not good. Probably only had a year to live or less. And so I chose not to do the chemo. And so far it's been... That was, the surgery was in uh, September the 10th in 2021, and now it's uh, almost September. September the 10th, 2024 will be three years. I feel pretty thankful that it was a very rare cancer, adrenal, cortical, carcinoma. <laughs> Dr. Park says it was very uh, aggressive cancer. He said when he would talk to me, he would tell us it was bad stuff. And so he tried to get us with some people to help us out, which Dr. Sheets and different ones, and he did that. I like Dr. Park. Dr. Park, I kept kidding about a hamburger. And <clears throat> as Dr. Park would come to see me in the hospital room, he'd say, if you're alive a year from now, we'll have a hamburger. And sure enough, about 14 months later, uh, we met him up at Lake Gaston, and we had a hamburger. I worked with Duke Energy. Uh, I retired from Duke Energy, but I still contract back to them now. I work out of the house. We enjoy going to the coast. Uh, we like to fish. Um, he enjoys flying. I He's fly a, a little bit. Pilot. I'm a, in a partnership yeah. with a 172. Yeah. We enjoy our grandkids. So had I taken the chemo, uh, I couldn't fly anymore. I, I, part of the time, I probably couldn't even drive because of the way that it would have affected me. Um, and I guess I looked at the chemo sort of like guesswork at that time. Uh, they were looking at something that was going to prolong my life as far as as long as possible. And so I didn't care about that anymore. I wanted some good life as long as I could have it. So I've still got that. I flew in Vietnam as a gunner and crew chief on the helicopter. So we had 58 days left and we got shot up real bad. The helicopter was hurt real bad. Two of us were hit. Um, we landed and that was on my way back home. My, it broke my arm, but I wrote a letter home and I told her that uh, I broke my arm at work. And by the time I get home, uh, she gets this letter, I should be home. But several things happened, and I ended up not going home right away. I had to stay over there about two more weeks because they couldn't get me out. Uh, so she had the Red Cross look at me and different stuff, and I finally did get home. The care with UNC has very, been very good. Very good. Well, for one thing, I'm thankful for the nurse and um, uh, recovery, too. She was, Romanita was just absolutely wonderful. Everybody was just as nice as they could be and helpful and if I needed anything, they were there. If he needed anything, they were there. It's not just a job there. It doesn't seem to be just a job for most people there. They're, <clears throat> they're glad to be there. My visits with uh, Dr. Park, to me, I, it, uh, it was not so much about the surgery sometimes. It's just like a friendly visit. It's always looked like I'm going to live a long time, but now things come up to make you think about life a little bit different. Uh, for me, um, I guess it's real unusual that uh, I'm still alive. I tell Dr. Park that uh, uh, he saved me, but he says, no, my wife saved me.